Welcome back to my channel. I'm Derek Comartin from CodeOpinion.com. Events are an API, and you should treat them that way. However, we often think of events as either domain events or integration events, but I think there's more of a distinction that needs to be made. Here's slightly different ways about thinking about events that will have a long-term impact on your system. I think the most common distinction people make are between domain events and integration events. When people are thinking about domain events, they're usually referring to some type of business concept that's happened within a logical boundary. And then when they're thinking about integration events, it's events that you need to use to communicate with other service boundaries. And this could be some business concepts, or oftentimes people think of them, I believe, for more data propagation purposes. But I think there's more of a distinction that should be made around what's their utility. And then based on that, what are the characteristics? So there's different ways of thinking about your events. Thanks to Event Store for sponsoring this video. Event Store DB is a new category of operational database built for event sourcing, CQRS, and event-driven microservices. For more on Event Store DB, check out the link in the description. So a different way of putting this is oftentimes people are thinking about domain events as being really inside events. Events that are occurring that you're responding to and consuming within a logical boundary. In integration events, you're really thinking about outside events. And this, if you think about it this way, has a big impact on how you're designing those events. So another way of putting it is domain events really are internal, internal to a logical boundary. And anything that goes outside of that, they're external events. And they're going to have different ideas between internal and external. Different way put, it's internally domain events, private events. Anything external that you're thinking for integration purposes are public events. And when you're thinking about an API, how you define public and private is very different. Now, I also think where some of this confusion lies is domain events implies that it's some business concept and that integration events are more data related or data centric, which I do not think is the case nor should be the case. I think you're both capturing business concepts. It just depends on the granularity about what you care about on inside or outside events, and that can differ. I recently just posted a video talking about events that are data centric using stuff like CDC. I'm gonna have a link to that video at the end of this video so you can check that out. But ultimately a lot of that can lead to a lot of coupling. Now if events are an API, then there is a difference between private events and public events, inside events and outside events. So if we're thinking about this way, if you're designing an API and you're thinking about your public events, it's a contract. It's what consumers and callers are using. In this case, are what they're consuming. How you version those and how you wanna deal with those are gonna be very different than internally in an implementation of detail about the private events that you publish to your logical boundary that you can evolve, that you can refactor. You have less of availability or ways to do that with public events, especially with consumers that you're not in control of. Inside events, they're business concepts. They're behavior centric, but they're likely gonna be a little bit more granular. So that means that you're capturing the exact intent of what somebody actually did. They're internal to your logical boundary. In outside events, they're still behavior centric. They're still business concepts that the business actually cares about but they're your API, they're for your public consumer. So you're gonna version those and deal with those differently than what you have internally. And another important part here is that they can be more used in summary so they're less granular. And that last point of summary is very important because inside about the granularity, you care about these things that are very small things that are happening. Likely on the outside, you don't care about those granular things. You really want to know about big impactful things, or oftentimes you wanna know that they've happened, but you want a summary of what happened. And I quote this from Mel Conway, every chance I get because context matters. When a politician greets you with how are you and a nurse greets you with how are you, they're totally different questions, even though they sound and spelled the same. What you care about inside your logical boundary is very different from what external outside consumers care about. An excellent example of this, if we're thinking about a product in a warehouse, we have different events based on behaviors that are happening, things that we actually care about. We have a product that was received for a quantity of 10. We received more product in our warehouse for a quantity of five. So we're at 15 if we were kind of keeping that quantity on hand total. Then we ship some product out. So we're actually now at nine, but we don't want to publish these internal events to external sources for them to consume, for them to keep track of quantity on hand. We literally wouldn't want to do that. It's too fine grain, but there's still business concepts that have happened like doing a stock count. We do a stock count. That's an event. We say, okay, actually we're really at eight because one of those products was damaged. So we do our stock count and that could be converted or something that is understand, understood by an outside context, by those outside consumers. That's actually what they care about. Now, even for something a little bit more real time, let's say service B makes some type of state change and it's really granular and we're publishing some type of internal inside event, 
but we do want to publish some external outside event, we, there's going to be some type of translation. There's going to be some idea of what we actually care about in the context of outside events, what they're going to care about, and they're going to be doing some type of translation there. It could be a one-to-one -one from an inside to outside event, or maybe it is kind of aggregating data and publishing something that's more of a summarization. Regardless, you're doing some type of translation to get it into the context that you care about on the outside. But there's always exceptions to this rule. If you're dealing with stable business concepts that it would exist within your domain and they're well understood and they have the same meaning inside and outside, then you can consider exposing those. There's just often times that they're just a little bit too granular. Maybe they're not. Maybe my example of a stock count is inside and outside because it's summarizing. It's what externally is uh, concerned with and also has its value on the inside. So if you're thinking instead of domain events and integration events, but rather inside events, outside events, private events, public events, they still have business concepts related to them. They're still in something that the business cares about. But another distinction I wanna make here, because this often kind of gets people in a lot of trouble because they're not making this, this distinction when talking about event sourcing. And that is that event sourcing is about recording events as a way to persist state. They are an internal implementation detail. They are for your aggregate, oftentimes if you're using that, state. They're how you persist state. They're very different than external outside events that you're publishing for notifications, for communication purposes. So immediately this should clear things up when you're thinking about internal, external, private, public, they're private, they're internal. They have nothing to do with posting that on the outside. There may be some translation. There may be things that occur that you're persisting as events for state that you wanna let the outside know, but there's still gonna be some translation there. Events are an API and you should treat them that way. If you're thinking about private events, that's an internal implementation of detail. If you're thinking about public events, that's a contract, something you need to abide to and you're gonna version differently. And context is king. When you're thinking about your internal events within a logical boundary, whether you're event sourcing or not, those events, their granularity is very different. Those business concepts are very different than externally in what outside consumers care about. They don't, might not likely care about the granularity. They want things more done in summary or when certain types of events occur. Context is king. You likely have different concerns inside and outside. And shout out to Oscar who had a post that inspired this video. I'll have a link to his blog post in the description. Hopefully this video is helpful and give you some insights about the differences between inside and outside events. If you enjoy topics like this and you wanna chat with other software developers, you can get access to my private Discord server. You can join my channel by checking the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, make sure to leave a comment and please subscribe for more videos on software architecture and design. Thanks.